Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT. In this video we will show you how to stop pop-up ads on your iPhone, your iPad or iPod Touch. Okay guys, so you've been browsing the web on your Apple device and suddenly for no reason you are getting pop-up ads. I started getting the congratulations ads popping up on my iPhone so I thought I would make a quick video on how to get rid of it. This ad I was getting was offering a smartphone in return for your details. Don't fall for it. This one has my ISP's logo on it but your pop-up might have an Amazon logo or it might have an Apple logo or something like that. Doing a quick web search will also show you that it's a scam. When we search for the web address, it takes us to a spyware removal website. All right, let's get rid of it. To close out of the pop-up, tap the rightmost icon in the bottom of the Safari browser. Then swipe the page left to close it or tap on the X. Alternatively, you can swipe from the bottom to close the Safari browser itself. Then just swipe upwards to close it. Okay, let's check your phone settings. To disable your sounds, badges and pop-up alerts, you can do this under Settings, Notifications, Show Previews, and then finally, you can select Never. Remember, you can turn these settings back on at any time if you want. If that ends up being too strict for you, you can turn it back on and only turn on the alerts for the apps that you want. So if I want to get alerts for the App Store, I go into the app and then tap Allow Notifications. Okay, let's check your Safari settings. So go back into Settings, Safari, and check that the Block Pop-Ups button is toggled on and that it is green. Next up, you can clear your Safari history. So scroll down to where it says Clear History and Website Data. But before you hit Clear, hit Cancel, and scroll down to Advanced, and then tap Website Data. This option will delete browsing history, website data, and cookies from individual websites only. It might also show you the dodgy website that's been causing the pop-ups. Let's say I don't like the look of this doubleclick.net website. I can tap edit and then tap the red minus sign to clear it. If you want to clear all the website data, you can just go back out and use the clear history and website data button I showed you earlier. And if you go back into the advanced settings, you'll see all the website data is gone now. Next up, we can reset the advertiser identifier. To do this, go into settings and then privacy. And then scroll down to advertising. Make sure limit ad tracking is green and then tap the reset advertising identifier. This will opt you out of targeted ads. Once this is done, do a restart of your device just for good measure. If you use Google Chrome instead of Safari, open Chrome and tap the three dots and go into settings. Scroll down to content settings and make sure your pop-up blocker is turned on. The next step is, if you have added any new apps, remove it and see if the pop-ups stop after you remove that app. To remove the app, just tap and hold and tap delete app. Pretty straightforward. Again, you could also restart your Apple device. Another good tip is to store an app called Malwarebytes. So go to the malwarebytes.com website. You can use the Malwarebytes app to scan your phone and to scan it for any malware. Unfortunately, it's not available in Australia at the moment, but it is meant to be available in the US and Canada. If you can't install Malwarebytes, you can look on the App Store for other similar apps that can scan and remove malware. In the App Store, do a search for malware and try installing one of the other apps there. If you're still getting pop-ups after all these steps, what you can do is do a backup to iCloud and reset your device back to factory defaults. To do the backup, go into Settings and then iCloud and just turn on whatever settings you want to back up. And to do the reset, go back to Settings and then General and then scroll down to Reset. 
Next up, tap on Erase All Content and Settings. Again, make sure you do an iCloud backup before you press the Erase Now button, as this next step will wipe all the data on your phone, including the malware that's causing the pop-ups. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos, such as transfer data from Android to Pixel 4, and do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.